Hey guys, welcome, El Chingon. I'm here for another shave, shave of the night. I know I told you guys I was gonna let the beard grow, but I changed my mind. I don't wanna let the beard grow. I was thinking about it and uh, I'm not just yet, you know, maybe in a week or two weeks, but right now I'm gonna keep doing full shaves. So I apologize for that. Cheers everyone. Hope you, everybody had a good day today. Happy Thursday. Like I said, shave, uh, shave of the night tonight. Cheers. Ah, great tasting beer. If you guys saw my video yesterday, it's the same beer from yesterday. This is a uh, L, handcrafted beer in San Diego, California. Great tasting beer. Give me a second. I'm gonna go get my uh, charger because my phone just uh, gave me a notification notification that it's low. So give me a second, guys. Apologize. I'll be back. I'm back, guys. Sorry. Had to get the charger. I don't want the phone to die on me, you know, while I'm uh, recording this video. So, give me a second while I plug this thing in. There we go. Good on juice now. It's plugged in, so no, no worries that it will turn off or anything like that. Hope not. <laughs> I want to give thanks to God. Thank you, God, for giving me another day of life. For giving me the strength and power to uh, get up every day. I'm thankful for having my job because of you, God. I'm thank you for you blessing me with life. I'm having the beautiful things that I have in my life. Thank you, God. I appreciate you very much, and I love you. Thank you. Amen, guys. Today's shade will be Alphine from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, 4 ounce puck of soap, and this is in uh, Douglas's 3.0 formula. And the scent is intoxicating to me. And what I mean by that is I like it very much. The scent pops out very good. Scent strength is about mid strength. I say six on the scent strength. Smelling it from the tub. And this is a masculine scent. Blended very well and very complex as well. And this is Douglas's uh, one of his popular scents. That he only had the aftershave in the beginning. And uh, with a lot of people loving the scent, he decided to make the soap. And the soap note, scent notes are rose, bay leaf, lemon, merle, vetiver, white clove, cypress, hili, hilicerum, hilicerum, excuse me if I said that wrong, alberet, geranium, and tobacco ass loot. Beautiful scent, guys. I like this scent very much. I'm horrible with uh, scent descriptions, you know, so I wouldn't be able to tell you what I get off the puck, but it smells beautiful to me. So let's get the shit started, guys. I'm going to be putting down the description of the soap and all the ingredients and scent notes, all that underneath uh, the bottom of my video. And I want to say thank you to everyone for their continued support. To tell you the truth, guys, I wouldn't be here doing these videos if you guys wouldn't show me support and the love that you guys have been giving me. And I really appreciate it with all my heart. I really do. I couldn't thank you enough, every single one of you guys that support me and can show me love. This is why I'm here, guys, for you. This is why I'm here. I love the hobby. I love to spread the word. You know, and I love to show everybody these beautiful scents that people don't have. 
so they can see, you know, and, and see if they like it to, so they can support the artisan or pick up the soap to their choosing. That's why I'm here. <laughs> to show the artisans love too as well. Got my brush soak in here, my Chicano shaver mug. Gift from Rafa at Chicano Shaver. Great mug that I soak my badgers and all my brushes in here. Real proud of this brush, uh, mug, beautiful mug. Real proud of it. I use it with pride. Rafa's a great guy in the wet shame community. Like I said, bro, thank you. If you get to watch this, thank you very much. The brush that I'm be going with today is a Brad Sears. Excuse me, guys. I'm just uh, I don't have Velcro yet on my phone, so I have to. Um, my phone's on tape right now, to believe it or not. So I hope it won't fall. But yeah, I'm sorry if I uh, keep going up with my hand here, is because I'm doing I'm pasting the uh, the tape with the phone, so it won't fall. Uh, there goes the soap. Here's a brush guys, Brad Tears, beautiful brush. This is a uh, thick handle, chubby, inspired handle. And what I mean by that is the, uh, it's a thick handle. It's not chubby inspired, but it's the width of it, it's, it's, it's big. And uh, it has a, a select, he calls it his select two band badger. And this is a hybrid, the knot. It's real flat top on the top, real beautiful. These hairs are amazing. Beautiful badger on here. No stink whatsoever because it's already broken in. But yeah, beautiful knot. If you guys know who Brad Sears is, you know what I'm talking about. He has he makes beautiful brushes with amazing knots. Brad Sears, guys. Made in the USA in Maryland. Eastern Shore, handcrafted by him, Brad Sears. Brad Sears Shea Works, beautiful brush. I'm gonna be using my uh, Gillette Vintage Turn to Open Butterfly. And this is the red tip. Vintage, I love vintage. And I'm gonna be going with the Astra, Astra Green today. Which I already took out of the wrapper. Loading it right now. Nice aggressive razor that gets the job done. Getting some pre uh pre shaver here, some ice from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is a little bit that I have left over that I'm trying to use, use up. So I can use the puck that I have on, on standby. And this has menthol on it. Pre-shave. This is also a lather booster. Which means it, it gives your added soaps a, a boost of lather thickness to your soap. Which this one don't really need it to tell you the truth. Because it lathers great. But it gives that soap that doesn't lather very good an extra boost. Like I mentioned, it's uh, scentless. It's, it has no smell whatsoever on it. It's mentholated though. It has nice menthol in it. Hope everyone had a fantastic day today. I did. Thanks to God. Thanks for giving me the strength and the will to have a blessed day. And I sure did. Thanks to him. He blesses me at work. And to, I forgot to mention as well, this uh, Alphine uh, set that I that I got just recently. I just got it not too long ago. It was a gift. No, I mean, excuse me, it was not a gift. I uh, got it from Leroy, Leroy at Nomeo Shaves. Uh, Gave me a good price for uh, a set of this and the set of Better Better Replenit for a great price. 
I'm not going to mention the price because it is, there's no need for it. But he gave me a good price for both sets. And I appreciate you, Leroy. Thank you, brother, very much. Thank you, brother. You're a great brother. I love you, bro. <laughs> not because you only because you sent me this, because you're a great brother in the way shipping community and you support me all the way and I support you, brother. I love your videos. I love your videos and I will always support you. Thank you, Leroy. You're an awesome, brother, bro. Alright, enough rambling, guys. <laughs> I just wanted to get that out. Leroy is a great guy. Great brother in the wet, wet shaving community. Baby Nomio. Leroy. <laughs> the texture of the soap, it's uh, firm. And you don't need to load that much with, uh, with this soap as well. So it explodes in your face, you know, as soon as you lather, just a couple seconds, that's all you need. And that's all I'm going to load right there. That should be plenty. This is an amazing formula. Like I mentioned, is this, I believe, is, I believe, I'm pretty sure, is this 3.0 formula. And Douglas just, uh, Came out with some classic scents and his Crown King uh, Ultra Premium, which is the K, uh, K, CK6 formula, the newer formula he just recently came out with with the extra butters. He came out with some original, the, uh, some classics in that base as well. If you want to check it out, go ahead and do so. They're on his website right now. The only ones that I've seen that I know that he got in the uh, CK6 formula that I saw was uh, Atomic Bay Rum and uh, I believe the one was CAD as well. Which I would like to pick up an extra tub of CAD, CAD. I love that scent very much. And that so basis Phenomenal. I enjoy it very much. Big step up from his regular Crown Cream formula, which is Crown King formula is, is phenomenal as well. But the extra moisturizing ingredients that the CK6 has, it blew me away. And that's in my opinion, I don't speak for no one else but me, but that's what I experienced it when I used it. Awesome pull sheet feel all day. Leaves your skin very moisturized as well. And the new base he has, CK6. You guys gotta try it out. It's a little expensive. It's $24.99, I believe, for a puck of five ounces of soap, but believe me guys, it's well worth it every penny. And I sure enjoy it, that new base. I still have to try the uh the doppelganger and the uh green label. I mean green label, excuse me. I don't even know why I said that. Um, Orange Label, which is inspired by uh, Champs. Old school cologne from uh, Ralph Lauren. That I don't think is no longer made. Here we go, guys. Excuse me for all the talk, but... Beautiful knot. This place real beautiful on the face. Real soft too. I love this knot right here. One day I will buy me another Brad Tears brush. Right now I'm on the, uh, no more buying for me. The holidays are coming up and I gotta think about my daughter. I'm gonna try to give her a nice gift this uh this Christmas. The do I, the one thing I do want to buy though that's on my list that I, the only thing that I want to get that I want is a strop for my straight razors. Look at that guys, beautiful, beautiful leather here. Yeah, I, I want a strap a strop. I need one. If I'm going to continue using my straight razors that I have, I gotta buy me a strop. 
So when they need to be uh, um, sharpened, I have this drop to uh, sharpen them. I got a real thick lather on the face, guys, right now. And this brush is caked. Look at that, guys. Caked in creamy lather. Phenomenal lather right here from uh, Phoenix Arson Accoutrements 3.0 formula. Dropping suds. <laughs> Alright, let's get the shave started, guys. I uh, talked up too much and the video's already 15 minutes, 16 minutes going and I haven't shaved yet. Sorry about that. Excuse me. The scent pops when lathered on the face. So I say sin strength on the face when lathering it, it's about a seven. Get stronger when you lather it. Pass one guys with the grain. Gillette red tip. If you hear the noise in the background, I apologize. They have a concert going outside where I live. It's very irritating, especially when I'm trying to rest when I come home because sometimes they uh, have that that uh, concert going. So a little small concert venue that's right outside my apartment complex. It's pretty annoying when I'm tired, you know, I'm tired and if I want to rest, I can't because that's going on. And it don't stop till 9 o'clock my time. That's when it stops. So I believe still got a couple hours before that ends. Real thick, thick lather guys, real thick lather. Real cushiony, real slick. Awesome protection. The soap has it all. You, most of my subscribers might say that I got a lot of Phoenix Artists and Accoutrement Soaps. And to tell you the truth, I do. And I'm not afraid to say that because I do. But I want to show what I have. And there's a reason why I buy, keep buying the soap because I love the soap base. You know, whatever happened in the past with Douglas and when he first started, you know, that's none of that, you know, I don't, some people are still, you know, upset with him, but people make mistakes, guys, you know, and there's a time to forgive. Not everyone's perfect. But I, start, I, I started buying the soaps way after that, you know, so. Real nice, guys. And I don't really go into it, you know, I don't really want to go into it. But like I said, people make mistakes and, you know. And some of my subscribers, you know, don't. Don't like the man, you know, I'm sorry. I respect your decision. But I love his hopes to tell you the truth, I really do. The man sure knows what he's doing. Him and his uh, girlfriend, Fran, Francis. Beautiful, beautiful pass. Pass one complete, guys. Beautiful scent from the soap. Very nice. Oh, 
That's Alpine for you guys. <laughs> Alpine. And Douglas has a story behind each of his scents in his on his website. So if you're interested, go ahead and check out his website. If you were uh, want to want to find out more about Alpine, it's on his website. I just do the basics. What I have to you know get through the scent description and. A little bit about the soap, but I don't go all in, into detail. It would just take me too long. But I will leave the description down there if you guys are interested to check out his site. Or you just go to phoenixshaving.com. Alright guys, pass two. Beautiful brush. Beautiful razor. Beautiful soap. <laughs> Beautiful shave. It's a little dry. This soap uh, is very thick, so don't be afraid to add water. Just a little bit goes a long way, as always. I respect all artisans, you know, that pour their hearts and time into making great shape soap. And for those that don't make great shape, great shape soap and are starting to learn, I appreciate that too. Because they're, you know, obviously they're doing it for a reason. And I respect that. So I show all artisans love. That's why every time I buy a soap or a new soap or something, I like to give a little bit information on the artisan. And if I don't, I leave the uh, description down below on my on my, uh, on my video so you guys can check it out. Pass two guys against the green. I just got, uh, I made another soap purchase, which I promised myself I wasn't going to do it no more. Because I got a lot of soap that I want to finish before <coughs> excuse me before I uh, start buying more soap so I just don't want my soaps to be sitting there or not be not being used you know so I like to use them as I rotate them and of course you know I've heard that soaps lose their strength after a certain while of time and I definitely don't want that to happen to me you know because I got a lot of soap Right there and underneath my sink. I definitely don't want that to happen. You, soaps, you know, they're cheap, you know. On some websites they're cheap, but you definitely don't want your soaps to go to waste. Especially at premium soaps. If you guys know what I mean. Beautiful aroma from Alcine.
Then I got some soaps coming from uh, Ariana and Evans, the club, Peter Chakalis. I made a soap purchase from him uh, just recently and I'm expecting those soaps to arrive in the mail pretty soon. Within a week or so, I'll have them, or maybe sooner. But yeah, stay tuned for those reviews or uh, send descriptions. You know, Peter, he makes great soap as well. Phenomenal soap, in my opinion. I bought a soap in his new base. And that scent is Amber Rose. Because I love Amber. The particular no Amber. And of course Rose because, you know, it reminds me of my daughter. I love rose scented soaps. I love them. I like floral soaps. But this one has different notes in it. It has tobacco, incense. I think Arwood, Wood, I believe. Ah, oh, yeah. Little touch up underneath the chin. As always, always this is my trouble spot right here on my neck area. Sometimes I don't have to do a touch up, but tonight I do. Beautiful slipness from the soap. Can't express that much. A lot of latherness, not still. Touch up pass, guys. Ah, oh, yeah, what a difference. What a difference a touch up pass can do. And maybe when I'm done using these soaps that I have, the new ones that I'm going to get, once I post them, I'll probably let the beer grow. I just wanted to do a full experience shave, you know, which I know they're going to be great. I just, you know, I want to do that before. Oh, yeah, very smooth. I say my face is soft right now. You can buff with this base. It's 3.0 formula. You can off uh, base. You can uh, buff, I mean. So slick you can. Great residual slickness on the soap. That's why I can buff. I'm happy where that's at, guys. Chingon. The chingon shave right there, which means badass. That's what the chingon means. <sighs> Beautiful shave, guys. Very close. I love Gillette vintages, man. They get the job done, you know? They're vintage, but they get the job done. I love my vintage razors very much. Oh yeah, that feels great, guys. Great, great shave. Beautiful shave. Oh. 
Cheers, guys. Cheers once again. Love you guys. Thank you for the support. Cheers. I love everyone like my real brothers. Thank you. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome. Bless every one of y'all. Bless you and your families. Gonna go with the Phoenix Artist in Accoutrements, Aftershave and Cologne, Alphine. Yeah. I had a sample of this that I just finished not too long ago. And to tell you the truth, guys, I was ready to buy this until I found out, you know, when I talked to uh, Leroy. So he saved me from buying it, which I was going to, but I really appreciate it, brother. I really do. Awesome scent right here. I love it very much. Thank you again. Here we go, guys. Great smelling aftershave. And I love it because these scents stay on me all day. Aftershave and cologne. The scent of, uh, the scent, period, stays on me all day. I put it on in the morning. I still smell it when I come from home from work for, after working eight hour shift. And I can still smell it if I don't take a shower the next day. That's how strong these colognes are. I can't express this that, that much. They're really strong, in my opinion. For real, guys. <laughs> Get some of this awesome juice <laughs> on my face. Feels great, too. Oh, yeah, it feels awesome. Oh. The ingredients of this beautiful aftershave, alcohol, rose water, aloe, menthol, glycerin, alum, and essential oils. And this comes in a, a 3.5 fluid ounce bottle. This is These are his older bottles, but he has the newer ones. They're block ones, the ones that you've seen on my most recent video, the square ones. Those are his new bottles. That's my shave, guys. I'm smelling great. I love Alpine. Beautiful scent. Beautiful scent. To recap, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, Alpine. Beautiful label as well, too. Beautiful label. It's like a mermaid, uh, I believe, in, in, in the underneath the ocean, sitting down on a pile of rocks with uh, fishes around her, seaweed. Great label. And this is in its uh, 3.0 formula, Phoenix, uh, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Great base. Shade with my vintage red comb. I don't red comb. Red tip. Vintage Gillette Red Tip. Beautiful. The knurling on here is awesome as well. I love the knurling on there. It's beautiful. Badass razor from Gillette. I don't recall the year on it, but it's vintage. My Brad Sears brush, caked in lather, maybe for another two passes. Beautiful brush. I absolutely love this brush very much. It's one of my favorites. I love the knot on there. Great handle. And to top it off, the beautiful aftershave, Alfie. Take care, guys. Wishing you guys have a blessed night. See you next time. And once again, thank you for the support. I really appreciate everybody. One love. God bless. Take care. See you next time. Peace, my brothers.